Hey folks, this is Vince with Ads Gaming Addiction, and today we're going to check out the digital adaptation of the popular board game Pandemic. You can find this on Steam for 10 bucks. that's the version that I'm playing. I do believe it's also available for iPhone and Android, but don't quote me on that. I've never played this digital adaptation before. I do own the tabletop game, and let me tell you, it is brutal. Expect to lose your first couple of times out. For those of you that don't know anything about this, this is a cooperative game. All the players are going to be working together to try and beat the game. You're trying to cure all four of the nasty diseases before they overrun the world. All right, let's go ahead and uh, give this a try and see if I like this digital adaptation. Options menu, music, sound effects camera motion, and gameplay options on the right-hand side. I do have the music off for the sake of the commentary and to prevent copyright issues. Rule books are down here in the bottom left. Uh, you can check out the Z-Man Games website, and of course the options menu is there. Let's go to new game. And based on what I'm seeing, I did not see a multiplayer option. It looks like this is single player only. And you're probably wondering, okay, so how does this work then? How is this cooperative? This has to be local cooperative, based on what I'm seeing here. So either you play multiple pawns yourself, or multiple players yourself, and take turns using each one, or you just bring friends over to your monitor and you all take turns as a, as a particular color. The nice thing about Pandemic is that it's an open cooperative game. So you can talk things out to your heart's content. So whether you're playing it local, uh, you know, or rather if you're playing it single player or you're playing it with team, Either way, you're in for a good time, uh, and you can usually help, you know, guide where people should go based on where the board is currently set up. But anyway, let's jump into this. Uh, we've got, so it looks like we can play up to four players, but we can add, we can play as two. Uh, I'm going to just do two for right now to make this easier on me, um, and I can, it looks like I can change the name here. I'll just do... Uh, DGA as one, and uh, I'll change, oops, hitting delete brings me back to the main menu, good to know. Um, I'll just do Sarah the dog, there we go. Okay, so random roll touch to assign, okay, so touch, I'm assuming then this is available on iPhone and Android based on that verbiage. Alright, so every player in this game has a unique role, and basically they have a special ability. Scientists discover cures easily. Um, I'm going to stick with scientist. I like the scientist. The medic is another one I like. Uh, it treats efficiently. So basically, for those of you that don't know what that means, as a scientist, you need so many cards in your hand of a particular color, and then you have to discard them. If you do that, then you can cure a disease. However, as the scientist, you need one less card to do that. So the scientist is the ideal person to try and get sets of cards of the same color and discard them because they need less of them to do it. The medic, on the other hand, um, as disease cubes are spread around the board, normally when a player treats a country, uh, they remove one cube per action. However, the medic gets rid of all of them. On that with one action point. So the medic is great for going around getting rid of cubes. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and do that. And there's an introductory game, standard, heroic. Um, so basically, the way the difficulty works in the standard tabletop game, there are cards um, in the deck, and they're called epidemic cards. And every time an epidemic cards comes out, it gets a lot worse. Uh, cubes come flying out, and it's just nasty. Um, I'll, I'll show them to you as we go. We're going to play the introductory game, and uh, that way you can get used to the interface. Okay, so the four epidemic cards are being shuffled into this deck here. Okay, so the initial infection is this, is, this is the setup now. Basically, so many of these country cards are drawn, and cubes are placed at these locations. So I'm just going to wait for the computer to finish doing this. It's DGA's turn. So basically, every turn, I get four actions that I can perform. Um, some of those actions might be to just move one space, so I can move from Atlanta to Washington. Every player starts in Atlanta. But to, for me to move to Atlanta to Washington, 
that's uh, one action. Uh, for me to get rid of a cube, meaning to treat a space, that is one action. To cure, meaning turn in so many cards, I need one less. Um, to uh, get rid of a, uh, well, to cure a disease of a color. It doesn't get rid of all the cubes on the board. You still have to treat them. But once you cure it, no more cubes of that color come out. But to eradicate it, you have to get rid of all the cubes that remain on the board. The game ends when um, you've got these outbreaks on the very top. Uh, it says outbreaks in some empty spaces. Outbreaks are when you'll notice that certain spaces have cubes around them. When a location has three cubes and you go to add a cube to that spot, then an outbreak occurs. One cube will then be added to all countries around it. So let's say a outbreak occurred in New York right now. One would be added to Montreal, one cube would be added to Washington, one would be added to London, one would be added to Madrid. Let's say Madrid had three already and there was an outbreak from New York. Then another outbreak would occur and Madrid would then add one to all surrounding locations. It, it daisy chains. It gets really, really nasty. Uh, the infection rate is how many country cards are drawn after a player takes their turn to further infect the world. Uh, as you can see, there's different colors. There's red, there's blue, there's yellow, and black. That represents the four different diseases in the game. Your goal, again, is to treat all four, uh, or cure them all, and, and get rid of them. And if you, can, if you can cure all four, then you're good to go. It, it's, it's tough. I'm telling you, it's really tough. And the game also ends if, if you run out of outbreak spaces, or if, um, or if you run out of cubes of a color to put onto the board, then it's also game over. All right, so what I'm going to do with my first turn, I've got four actions with white. Uh, again, I want to try and um, what I'm going to try and do is try and get cards of a particular color. In order to cure a disease, as the scientist, I need, I believe it's four cards. Uh, don't quote me on that. I think it's four. Uh, and if I get four cards of the same color, I can turn them in and I can treat that color. And then once, I'm, once I do that, no more of that color can come out on the board. So I want to try and get, I want to try and stay near orange if I can, which is the medic, so they can pass me cards that I might need to do that. Uh, but I also need to, if I'm going to be around the medic, then I need to be where the medic is going to go. The medic, for example, wants to get to New York and Madrid to treat these spaces. Uh, you can also, whenever you move, you can also discard a card to fly to that location. So, for example, Algiers. Um, I could, I could uh, discard Algiers to go there. Um, if I'm on Algiers and I discard Algiers, I can go anywhere I want to on the entire board. So that's, there's a way to quickly teleport around the board with cards. But again, you need these cards in order to uh, turn them in and tr cure the diseases. So it's, it's, a, it's a risk. I'm going to head to um, Washington, and then I'm going to go to Montreal. And I'm going to treat this, and then I'm going to go to New York. Because I know the medic is going to be there. I get to draw a card. Oh, an epidemic card came up immediately. That is just wonderful. So the way the epidemics work, all of the cards that were in the discard pile from the beginning of the game and that get added, um, basically, they are shuffled and put on top of the country deck. So all of these cards, Milan, Madrid... Karachi, Hong Kong, Jakarta, T Tokyo, they were drawn during setup to place these cubes. All of those countries are now shuffled and put back on top of the country deck and will be drawn again soon. So New York could be subject to an outbreak fairly soon. Milan, same thing. We're going to continue to infect cities. The epidemic means that uh, based on the current infection rate, that's how many cards get drawn during this. Infect cities. Montreal. Okay, there's that. Karachi. All right, it's Sarah's turn. Now, again, I treated Montreal. That's why there was no cube there when it got another cube added. If I had not gone here and treated that one cube, it, there would have been two there then. All right, so luckily New York and did not come up. And luckily in Milan and... Uh, Jakarta didn't come up, but now Karachi's in danger. I'm going to head to Washington. I'm going to go to New York. I'm going to treat this. It treats, as the medic, I treat all of them. And then, um, 
Hmm. Now, in order to pass cards, um, I have to, I, I believe what I have to do is I have to be on the location that I'm trying to share. So in order for me to share this Cheney card, I need to be on Cheney with another person and then pass them that card. But I don't think we're going to be able to do that. Um, as the medic, I'm just going to move down here to Madrid so I can treat that next turn. All right, so now we're going to draw more country cards. Kalata and Mumbai. Let's see what that looks like. Oh, added one there. Oh, was that an outbreak? That was an outbreak already. Ouch. Oh, an outbreak there too. That's what we're already at two outbreaks. Again, this game can be brutal if RNG is against you. All right, so I've got these cards here. Um, hmm. I may have to... Instead of them passing me cards, I might just have to start using them to fly around and treat things. Uh, if I go to Algiers... Uh, Algiers is... No. San Francisco is back this way. I could head to Tokyo and treat that. Um, but I, I, again, I, I'm trying to keep these cards. What, San Francisco, here, here's the thing. I need black and I need red. I, I need more colored cards. Otherwise, we're not going to get this done. <sighs> well, 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 well. As the medic, what would I do? As the medic, I would treat Madrid, move down to Sao Paulo and treat that. And that would get rid of six cubes in one turn. So I might head to Milan next. Just move over there. Um, do I want to discard a card to go over that way? I can discard. I can go to Istanbul. All right, direct flight. And then two. And then I'm gonna treat twice. There we go. Now we're down to two. All right, Madrid and Baghdad. Oh, great. Continue to infect cities. Madrid. Of course it came up again. Of course it came up again. Of course. And Jakarta. This is the absolute worst game of Pandemic I've ever played. Treat. We're going to treat all of blue. And we're going to come down here. Treat all of that. And I've got... Now, I could fly somewhere. Maybe I can fly to... Somewhere close to Karachi. Mumbai is here. All right, I'm going to just... Actually, if I can hang on to black cards and treat that, maybe I might want to head to... Where's Johannesburg? Johannesburg is here. It's, that's way out of the way. Paris. We can fly up to Paris. Why don't we do that? Or do we want to hang on to blue and try and treat blue? I don't know. If we keep using these cards, we're never going to be able to cure anything. All right, but we can only hold so many cards, so I'm going to go ahead and fly up to Paris so that I'm in better shape to treat things uh, over here to the right. Baghdad, one added there. Hong Kong, all right. That wasn't too bad. All right, so we need to... <laughs> oh, Oops, I did not want to move. Is there an undo button? Oh, wait. Is this an undo? Yeah. Okay. Upper left-hand corner is the undo button. Oh, team info on the right. Oh, that's cool. I can actually see what cards they have. I was wondering about that. I was trying to click on that pawn to see what they had, but you can see it on the right-hand side. Um, so, we've got enough black cards between us to treat black, but getting the cards over to me is going to be fun. Uh, you've got... Okay, so Sarah's got... Chanae... Or Chennai, maybe. Mumbai. Which is here. Kolkata. Which is over here. And... Riyad? I don't know how to pronounce that. Anyway. Um, I've got Algiers. Well, Sarah's got... Yeah, Sarah's got Algiers. Okay. Ah, oh, this is tough. This is so tough. Trying to figure out how to coordinate this. 
I might just give the black card to Sarah and then let Sarah... I could just pass one to her. Even though the scientist is better at it, she's already got four cards. She's already got four cards. So maybe I might want to go to Algiers. So, okay, if I, I can treat one here, go to... But then I'd have to wait until my next turn, I think. I'm not sure how that sharing works. I don't know if I can... If it's my if it's Sarah's turn, if I can receive a card instead of having to give one up, we'll try it. And if it doesn't work, then oh well. Um, so maybe we'll just go to treat Istanbul, treat down to Algiers. All right, draw a card. Too many cards. Um, well, now that I've got three, I need. All right, let's give up the red cards. Uh, I'm gonna give up Bangkok. Actually, yeah. Give up that. I've got three blue, so that's good. All right, New York is infected. Tokyo is up to three. Sarah's turn. All right. Um, I'm going to head down to Algiers. Now, I want to see how the sharing works. Uh, select player. Algiers. Take. All right. So now... Sarah has too many cards. We know that. So I'm going to get rid of, say, uh, Joh yeah, Johannesburg is kind of useless. But now, um, in order for me to cure this, I have to be on a space where there's a research lab. So I might build a research lab and, yeah, discard Algiers? No. I have to fly back here to Atlanta. That stinks. I can fly to Milan. No, that's that's not even going to do it. All right, as as the scientist, maybe I. All right, we'll do that. Uh. Uh, there is a special role that you can get from another. Like, there's another role besides medic and scientist that lets you build these things anywhere, which would have come in handy right about now. If I build a research station here, then I'm down to four cards again, and I won't be able to cure this next turn. All right, but as the scientist, I've got two. We could reconvene in Baghdad, and then, you know. You know I, 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 how many actions do I have left? Two. That hurts. All right, so I think I'm going to head back up to New York. Or, or as DGA, as at, what I could do is I could create... On my next turn, I could create one in Baghdad, and then cure black. Then I'll just okay. So I'm gonna I'm gonna bring black. No, do not discard. No. Undo. Um. Yeah. Let's head to Baghdad. All right. Drawing cards. Got to get rid of some. Uh, I'm going to get rid of Osaka. Discard two. All right. I guess yellow as well. Infect cities. Paris and Bangkok. All right. Red is getting dangerous over there. Okay. So, um, if we go to Baghdad, I can build this. One... To build. All right, so research station is there. On the medics next turn, they'll be able to cure that. I've got three blue, so I can try and go after blue myself. Um, I've got one action left. I might fly to Hong Kong and try and try and treat things over here. But as the medic, I want to try and get these. I, I don't want to use these unnecessarily. Maybe I'll take the long way. All right, we'll just we'll hold on to these cards. Drawn cards. There's blue and red. All right, so we can actually cure blue while we're at it, too. I just need to get over it. Well, I, there's a research station right there. I could go back a space and cure blue. Chennai. And... What was that? Manila. All right, so I'm going to cure black. That's good to go. And... 
Now, the way this works is anytime a player treats a black treats a black uh, cube now, it's the it, it acts like the medic. So as the scientist, DGA is the scientist, if I did take the treat action as them and I'm taking care of black, then all of the cubes from that location are gone. I can completely eradicate it, too, if I wanted to, but... All right. Um, no, I think... I may have misspoke earlier. I think I said that black cubes will no longer come up once I cure a disease, but I think they do. I think it's only when they are completely eradicated, meaning that I get rid of all of the black cubes on the board. Then they will never come up again. So it might be it might be my, in my best interest to come down to Karachi here and... Uh, tr tr okay, so it's treated automatically. Oh, that's right. As the medic's ability... Um, the medic's ability actually goes a step above. If the medic lands on a space that to uh, on a space where there are cubes that have been cured, then it automatically gets rid of them, and that's good. So let's actually have the medic come down to Chennai here, and that should eradicate black. Eradicated. Black is completely gone. We don't have to worry about black anymore. That's actually really good. Now we just have to hope a lot of black cards come up. Infect cities. Algiers. Nothing there. And Osaka. Okay. DGA's turn. I've got four blue. I'm actually going to head back this way. Cure. Got blue cured. And now, if we walk in this general direction, we can start clearing out blue and attempt to eradicate it. Alright, so I'm going to head up this way. Essen. Okay, Essen got added. See, even though Essen, even though blue was cured, one is going to get added to Essen anyway. We have to eradicate blue to stop it from further infecting cities. Yeah, see, now Turan came up, no longer infecting. All right, so we need to get red under control. Uh, I'm thinking Jakarta is going to be my first step here. Treat, and then maybe up here and treat that. I, no, I'm not going to go to Sydney. All right, so basically, I'm just trying to get things under control here in, in red. Jakarta, good thing we did that. Good thing we did that, because we just, Jakarta just became infected again. Kolkata, Los Angeles, yikes. DGA's turn. Okay, so what I'm going to do, um... We need to start wiping out blue, but also getting enough cards to get red. So I'm hoping that we can gather red cards and get over, you know, and by the time we get over to Atlanta again, we can maybe eradicate red. Uh, we still need to clean up yellow, but yellow doesn't seem to be that big of a threat right now. So I'm going to head up to Essen and treat that. Head down to Paris and treat that. Now again, the medic's ability would have wiped them out instantly, whereas... Because I'm just the simple scientist, I have to still use the treat action. But because it's cured, I cure all of them. There we go. Tokyo and Lima. Lima. Red and yellow. All right, goes Atlanta. We're going to go that way anyway. Okay. Um, we want to get to, I think, Bangkok, treat, and Hong Kong, treat. Bam. Bam. We need to get up to Tokyo if we can. Ooh, another epidemic. Okay, so now all the all the country cards in the discard pile shuffled and put on top of the deck. And they're going to come up again. I just have to hope that it's no cards that have Paris. Okay, so I'm actually on Paris right now. New York. Okay, I'm heading that way anyway. Okay, that wasn't too bad, and all, all things considered. St. Petersburg, though, a little concerning. I might actually come back this way and take care of St. Petersburg. Um, treat. Two. Three. And again, blue is cured, so this will take care of all of them. There we go. Epi another epidemic. You've got to be kidding me. You've got to be kidding me. Istanbul. Don't have to worry about that. DGA is too many cards. Well, we've got four red. 
That's perfect. I'm going to get rid of black because I'm not using it anymore. And blue because we're not... Well, let's go ahead and discard that. We might f use the blue card to fly in a minute. First infection is New York again. Paris again. Those are the cards that were in the discard pile, basically. Istanbul, which not not a problem. All right, Sarah's turn. Sarah is going to head up to Tokyo and take care of this for sure. Treat. All right, so no outbreaks there, luckily. Uh, we can head down to Os. I don't know how we're going to do this. Um, well, my goal as as the scientist is going to be heading to Atlanta to cure. Uh, to cure red. And in doing so, we can start eradicating it. So I'm going to head up to... I'm going to actually get a Shanghai here to get to Beijing. All right, now that's too many cards. I'm going to get rid of blue because we're already taking care of that. The government grant, what does that do? I don't want to... No, I don't want to discard that. Um, Montreal would be nice. New York, Milan... I don't think we'd ever be over that way again. Yeah, Montreal and New York are near each other, so I'm gonna get rid of I'm gonna get rid of uh, Montreal, and I'm gonna keep yellow in case we want to try and cure that next. Um, red, there's Jakarta and Sydney. Jakarta is oh, Sydney's that Jakarta. Okay, these two are next to each other, so I just might get rid of Jakarta. There we go. Infect cities. Bangkok, Baghdad, like, okay, now that's a problem. Okay, um, now you're probably thinking, well, so what if, I mean, it looks like diseases are relatively under control right now. I've got 21 more cards on this draw deck. If I run out, it's also game over. So I need to start curing all four as quickly as possible. I've got... Four red. If I can fly... Well, Essen is right next door, so... Where could I fly to? Uh, if I had a Miami, I could fly... No. Alright, we're gonna have to take the long way. One... I'm just gonna... I'm, I may not eradicate blue. I may just... We'll treat New York for sure, because I don't want another outbreak. But on the next turn, we're gonna go Atlanta and treat red. Too many cards. Um... I'm not going to go there, and I'm not going to go back to Essen. So we're going to discard those. Madrid? Yeah, it would it would take too long for me to keep trying to eradicate blue. It's, they just keep popping up. So we just what we need to do is cure the remaining two colors before the game ends. That's all there is to it. Manila? Okay. Um, her turn. The government grant does what? Adds one research station to any city. Oh, that is great. That is absolutely fantastic. Um, I'd like to add it somewhere over here so that if I get a fourth yellow, I can easily just, or if I get a fourth yellow card, I can just cure, well, I, need, I would need five yellow, huh? All right, well, let's, let's, let's play this, and I'm going to add it to Hong Kong. It's centralized. And in the meantime, I'd, I'd like to continue just curing as much as this is possible. Uh, Manila, for example, I'm going to treat that. And we want to stay around Hong Kong, so I might just go to Ho Chi Minh. Uh, New York, Milan. No, we'll, just, we'll, we'll just head to Ho Chi Minh. Come on, two yellow. Oh, there's one yellow. We need one more. Sarah's too many cards. Well, we've we've got enough blue. I'm, I'm going to get rid of the blue. Chicago, again, we're not going over to France anytime soon. So I'm going to discard that. Yeah, Paris, not, not going to go there. All right. Um, first infection. Atlanta. And Montreal. Blue can still get out of hand. 
Now, the reason why there's three cards being drawn now, uh, if you take a look at the infection rate, we've drawn four epidemic. Well, I think it was four at this point. It started here at two, one, two. Okay, maybe it's just three that we've had. But now the infection rate is up to three. For every epidemic card we draw, the infection rate goes up. So every turn, three cards are being drawn instead of two. Nasty, nasty business. Um, we're going to, now what is resilient population? Remove any one card in the infection discard pile from the game. Oh, well, we might want to remove Lagos here just because we may not get to yellow soon. I know I don't want to discard it either. What, what location? All right, we'll go ahead and use it. Well, can I see the discard pile? Uh, there's Lagos. Okay, so we're going to remove that. It's got three yellow cubes on it. I don't want another yellow. So I don't have to worry about that outbreaking again. All right, now using those cards do not count as an action, which is nice. So I'm going to go ahead and head to Washington and then Atlanta. And then I'm going to turn in the red cards. Cure that disease. It's not eradicated. So red cards that come up will still add cubes. But we are one disease away from beating the game. Um, we've got two of these, two of these yellow. So if I can coordinate with red somehow, get red over here, that would be awesome. Um, got one action point left. I'm just going to treat Atlanta in case it comes up again. To pot. All right, good. I'm looking for those yellow cards though. Tokyo, Hong Kong. Algiers. Black is eradicated. Don't have to worry about it. I've got four yellow here. Um, if I can fly... Alright, so Sarah has... I, well, Sarah meaning me, my current turn. I'm trying to see who has what. DGA the scientist has Lima and uh, Kinshasa? Kinshasa. Okay, um, I guess if we could meet at Lima and exchange cards there, I can give her my Lima card. But then, I could give Sarah my Lima card, and then Sarah could go cure yellow, but there's no sign, there's no station down here. Which stinks. No, I, either that or I can just wait and hope that Sarah or DGA draws more yellow cards and in the meantime just try and keep these ones under control maybe we can do both um you know i'm gonna head hmm i'm one I'm, I'm just wondering if red is ever going to outbreak again i don't think we need to stay over here anymore all right i'm, I'm gonna head this way We're, we're gonna we're gonna meet up. We're gonna get yellow cured and hopefully win the game. One quiet night. I think that means no uh, no things will pop up. No more no more countries will be uh, brought up for that one turn. All right, Sydney. I'm not gonna. Well, actually, if Sarah gets, we can fly to Chicago. And okay, so if we can trade down in Lima, we can use our Chicago card to fly there and then right to Atlanta. So I'm going to keep Chicago. I'm going to turn in New York. And I'm going to turn in Delhi cuz we're not going to we're not going to go there. All right, Kolkata, Jakarta, Tehran, DGA's turn. All right. Um yeah, let's let's do that. We'll meet down here. And I should have just treated that yellow. Well, I'm just going to Yeah, I'm just I'm gonna I'm gonna do something I normally don't do in a game like this. I'm just gonna pass. London and Miami. No, I'm one away. Milan. Karachi. Los Angeles. Okay, Sarah's turn. All right. Again, if we get down to Lima, 
share. There we go. Take. Good. Sarah has too many cards. That's fine. I'm going to get rid of Sydney. I'm not going to fly there again. Um, speaking of... I'm going to go ahead and use my one quiet night card. Skip the next infect cities. Play that. And I'm going to go to Chicago. Discard Chicago. Yep, there we go. So now we're here. And we're going to go to Atlanta. And then on our next turn, we'll wipe out yellow. Game oh, look at all the yellow that we get now. Look at all the yellow that we get now. Of course we would. All right, so I'm just going to pass. Well, actually, let's just... Let's do this right. Treat, treat. There we go. Airlift, Buenos Aires. We've got seven cards left in the draw deck, so we've got a couple more turns before the game would end. But I, we got this. We got this. So as long as nothing terrible happens. Okay, um, we're good. Cure. We've got five cards. Uh, we're fine. Cure. Ta-da! Victory! All diseases have been cured. That was a tough one. Right out of the gate, it was outbreaks and epidemics. It was terrible. All right, folks, so that was Pandemic, the digital adaptation. Again, doesn't I think this game would benefit from online multiplayer. Um, I've seen some people asking for AI computer uh, friends. I'm like, that's. I don't honestly think that's necessary. This is a game that you either play solo or you discuss with friends against the, the game board. What would the computer do? Why would why would they move by themselves? You'd want you'd want to coordinate. How would you coordinate with a computer? If the computer is programmed to do something that you do, and and you don't want them doing that, I mean that that's not cooperation. That's just that's just yeah. It doesn't make any sense as to why people would be asking for AI teammates. I think the game is fine as is personally, but it needs online functionality in my opinion. All right. This is Vince. Thanks for watching, and I'll catch you guys next time.